I love pre-built characters. That might seem strange because I also love building characters. I've done several videos on how to build characters for various game systems on a week when I don't have an RPG to play. In fact, I'll often sit down with a rule book and build a character that will probably never get used. And yet, I love a system that provides a good array of pre-built characters, and I admire players who post pre-built characters online for other people to use. Here are five reasons I love pre-generated characters. 1. New players. Everybody comes to play an RPG for their own reasons, but in my experience, most people curious about an RPG don't really know what they're in for until they play it. Even people who have watched actual plays or listened to podcasts that play a game don't tend to know what to expect. Now think about this. Over the course of your hobby, you might build a lot of characters, but you probably spend a lot more time playing those characters than building them. I guess it's probably a 10%, 90% 90% split, 2080, probably more like 1090. But even a drastic estimate like 3070 significantly favors playing to building. When a friend tells you that they want to try playing an RPG, their first and potentially only experience can either be 90% playing and 10% building, or it can be 90% building and 10% playing. I know building characters is fun. I build characters I never intend to play. I love building characters. But for somebody who has zero hours of playing, the RPG experience shouldn't consist of two hours of paperwork to four hours of playtime. Their first experience should be, I think, all playtime, and only enough for them to decide whether they enjoy it. A pre-generated character ensures that new players don't eat up valuable evaluation time with mystifying administrative forms. 2. Experienced players with no time. I like trying new RPG systems because nearly every system I've ever tried either has a great idea embedded in it somewhere, or at least it has a fun mechanic that's good for a laugh. Part of experiencing a new system for me is the process of building a character for that system. And yet, sometimes, I just want to try the game's mechanics. Maybe I'm at a gaming convention and I literally only have a four-hour block to spend with the game. Or maybe I'm just not sure I like the game enough to explore its every facet. Give me a pre-generated character and there's nothing standing between me and the new game I want to evaluate, I might want to own. 3. Building by example. Examples in RPG books are hard, I don't tend to like them because they're usually so specific to exactly one situation that they're kind of useless for a lot of the questions I have as I read. However, having said that, a few example character builds are nice to see. Not because they answer questions, but because they prompt them. I can't count the times I've looked over a sample character build only to realize that the math I'm doing to come to the same conclusion doesn't add up the way I thought it would. So is the sample wrong? Or is the book wrong? Or am I just not understanding the process? Well, more often than not, I've misunderstood something. So I go back, I reread how to get to a certain number, and then it all makes sense. I've applied a bonus twice because the wording was confusing, or I've I've failed to take a trait because the book hadn't stepped me through the build in a linear way, or whatever. A sample character build is nice for the questions it makes makes you ask. 4. Boxed games. I'm a fan of the concept of a boxed game. In my head, at least, an RPG I enjoy playing is essentially a board game without the board. There are rules governing movement and actions, there are dice for decisions and tests, and there are obstacles programmed into repeatable scenarios so you can play and replay an adventure as often as you like or not at all. It's a board game, and board games come with a board and player pieces and rules. Now, I prefer when an RPG comes with a map, but I accept that the board changes depending on the adventure, so no one map is ever going to work. The rules are in the RPG rulebook, but where are the player pieces? I don't like the idea that player pieces are described in a rulebook, but you have to build them yourself. I I want three or four player pieces delivered in the box. Of course, I'm talking about metaphorical player pieces here. It's a character build. 5. Adventurous. Role-playing games are, in part, about chance. You roll 
dice. You see what happens. You can boost your stats to influence the results, but ultimately it is up to a dice roll. Pre-generated characters offer a unique opportunity to extend this game of chance to the character you play in an adventure. Next time you sit down at a one-off game, take some pre-generated characters, assign them each a number, and then roll a die. Play what you roll. Six. I know I said it was a list of five, but th I've, I've thought of another one. Believe it or not, building characters isn't for everyone. I have friends who will happily play an RPG as often as I offer it, but they just won't build a character. They just don't have the interest. It might feel weird to somebody who enjoys building characters, and it might even offend people who believe that building a character is a vital part of a role-playing game game, but it actually doesn't matter. I hand them a character sheet that caters to their interests, and they play the game, and they have fun. It's casual, it's easy, and it lets everyone participate in the shenanigans around the table to the extent that they want to. In conclusion, despite my appreciation and respect for pre-generated characters, ultimately every RPG player who wants to ought to learn how to build a character. I'd never remove that from an RPG, but games like but games like Wrath and Glory, Shadowrun, and even Monster of the Week, which I don't actually particularly enjoy, but I do respect, and lots of game conferences with pre-gens as part of the games have reinforced for me the idea that building a character isn't an intrinsic part of role-playing. You can play a character that you didn't build. It can be just as fun as playing the character you did build, as it turns out. Both options are good. The good news is that if your favorite game system doesn't include pre-generated characters, you can probably make them yourself for your friends. And so I encourage you to consider doing that. If you're finding that people are, are a little hesitant to dive into an RPG, try building them a character. See if that bridges the gap. It might not, but sometimes that's what it takes. Pre-generated characters can make an RPG more approachable for more players, and I think that's a good thing. Thanks for watching.